So today I'm going to be installing a, uh, some kind of input for uh, French doors. Um, the long term plan is to go to conservatory probably sometime next year. Um, but for now, you know, it's just a bit of shade some hands and um, fun with the garden. So I've got this, um, it's called the Out Sunny Canopy. Uh, it was from Amazon. I'll put a screenshot bit up now. Um, it's 2 by 5 by 2 metres and we've got £150 so we'll get it unboxed, see what it's like and have a look at putting it up and see how complicated it is. Read through the instructions and um, pretty straightforward basically. I've got this bracket, we need to put these two brackets on the wall. It does come supplied with fixings and um, we'll have a look at them in a minute in a bit more detail. But basically put these two brackets on the wall um, and then lift it up. It doesn't give you the dimensions apart to put them because obviously I think the generic instructions and it comes in a lot of different sizes. So I've marked the location at either side to be equal to get somebody to help you from the centre of the fixing hole on that one to the centre of the fixing hole on this one. I'm going to measure that distance and then I know what it is on the wall. You do get a little bit of leeway, so a couple of millimetres either way is going to be a massive issue, but obviously you want it as accurate as possible. So Alicia, can you hold that in the centre of the screw hole please? You got it? Yeah. So for hours I'm getting a measurement of 2,370. So like I say, this is a 2.5 metre wide canopy. So for my 2.5 metre canopy, I'm going to put the brackets at 2,370. And I've wrote that down, because no doubt I'll go off, have a cup of tea, and then forget where it's gone. So I've wrote down, there's no mistake in any So I'll uh, get the drill set up, and then we'll go from there. The instructions, just out of interest, that come with it are, um, are okay, the sort of easy read, um, legible and everything. It does have the UKCA kite mark on it, so it, by the look of it, it's, um, it's a British made product. Um, yeah, and it's a UK address. On the, oh, well it's a UK importer, so I'm guessing it's made somewhere abroad and then imported by this company, but so far it looks okay. So I've got the brackets marked and go from there. So the way I'm going to proceed now is this doorway is about 1.8 metres wide. The um, canopy we said was 2,370. Um, so 1,185 is half of that. So what I'm going to do is from the centre of the door up on the top, I'm going to measure, um, what did I say, 1,185 this way, um, I'll then measure the 2,300 back, and that should give us a fully centred uh, door. It uh, recommends in the instructions um, that it's, the canopy's not right above the door, um, so I'm going to probably have it a couple of, mil, a couple of hundred mil uh, above, the, above it. Um, and the theory behind that is when your patio doors are open or your French doors are open, it's not going to catch on the canopy, so we'll do that as well. Uh, I think the recommended mountain height is between 2.5 to 4 metres. Um, The width on this installation was going to be about 2.8 metres, but I'll, once I get up the steps, I'll have a look at that properly. So you can see there, I've got the first bracket up, and so I'm going to measure along um, the 2,370 to the other side, and then that should be uh, fairly centred up with the door. I've, uh, I'll run a spirit level along, but I'm also it's going along that top brick edge, so as long as it's on that top brick edge, it should look fine. I'll probably just need to recite that light as well, so just move it up slightly. But I'll get the two brackets on first, then they're done and out the way, and then I'll look at moving the light up. Um, so fixing wise, 
it did come with some fixings so it came with these ones uh, they might be all right but they didn't look the best quality so i've just used my own normal uh, raw but bolt type ones in a similar size right so you should be able to see there i've got the second bracket up on the left hand side there um, I've had the spirit level in between them, they are level and like I say they're following the brick line so I'm just going to move that light up, um, I've got plenty of length on the light in that junction box um, and I've got it sort of twisted round so I'm just going to undo the two screws and uh, see how high I can get it, I might put it, I'll either, if I've got enough I might put it above the box if not I'll just put it to one side um, and we'll see how we can get on with that. So that was a bit easier from the centre. So I'm going to put these pins in and um, just so it doesn't fall down. Let me show you it's the right way around. You can see the hook that you twist it from to unravel it. It's there. So I guess that's right. But we'll see in a minute. So I've got the bolts in that side. I'm just going to put them in this side. And I've got my little nip up um, with an adjustable spanner. Um, once it's all done, I might at a later date just add a bit of lock tight to them, but I'm going to just see how it goes to begin with. We are there's the canopy up. So it was basically just a matter of the two brackets and then the screws to hold the canopy to the bracket. So really straightforward so far. Um, so the next thing I suppose is to try them little unwind and see how easy that goes. Now with it fully extended. We'll wind it in. Actually, that's it. Just the curtain down. Wind it in. It's fairly, fairly uh, light. It's not really a lot of effort to do it. There we are, it's fully wound in there. It's gone nice and square, it's looked like massively going one way or the other. Right, I'll put it back out again. It's a little bit easier to unwind it, but I suppose it's got gravity on its side. That's just fully unwound there. I don't know if you can see that, but it is really level there. So these are the brackets that hold it on. This screw here is like the up and down screw. Um, so I, I loosened this one off slightly unscrewed that and that's your sort of pitch of how far down it leaned. Uh, we want ours fairly low down um, but I mean you can have it anywhere from sort of nice and straight to um, nice nice angle there so that's good um, and now it's in what I'll do is I'll just lock tighten that back up with it and just give it a slight nip just so it doesn't move in the wind or anything like that uh, but I don't I don't think it will you can see that's the top of it um, so for the money it looks decent um, and it's given us plenty of shade in the back room and under here. Uh, you can just about open the French doors with it um, to get to get them open properly maybe you want uh, lifting 100 mil or so um, but we just want it so it gives us plenty of shade for now. Um, so that's where I'll leave this video. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, got more videos coming up. Um, try and release one every month or so. Uh, 
Clear all coming up.